Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to Project of the Month, a series of videos where I showcase an amazing open source project. This month we're going with Planner, a fantastic task manager that has been growing very fast lately and that compares to OmniFocus or Things from Mac if you ever use these ones. Want me to showcase a specific project? All my Patreon supporters get to vote each month on the project I'll review in addition to other benefits, so take a look at the link in the description below. Let's begin. The project. Planner started back in October 2018 as a task manager for Elementary OS. It grew over about two years and is now a featureful Todoist compatible project management tool. It supports Think with a Todoist account, tags, due dates, reminders, it has a dark theme and can help you organize your own projects super fast. I use it every day to manage the channel, as well as some of my work tasks, and it's a really fantastic experience. I asked a few questions to Alain, the main developer on Planner. Let's start with the origin of the project. Alain started to develop Planner because he needed it and to achieve a personal goal. He followed the Elementary OS project for a while and liked their design, so he set himself the personal goal of publishing an application in the App Center as quickly as possible. Since he was working as a software developer and got more and more tasks and duties, he developed Planner as his own task manager and made it fit into Elementary OS. Planner is available in the Elementary OS App Center as well as FlatHub and the Arch user repository. You can also compile it from source if you're allergic to all these distribution methods. The features. Now what can Planner do? To begin, you can create projects. Each project can contain any number of tasks and has its own progress indicator. To manage various projects, you can also create areas which can contain multiple projects. For example, I have an area with a Linux experiment channel, another one for my website, which I should definitely update more often, and another one for my gaming channel and my day job. Each of these areas have various projects I can browse through. To keep track of all the tasks I have in all my projects, Planner offers a two-day view with all the tasks you need to complete today, as well as an upcoming view for what comes next, and the inbox where you can quickly create tasks before sorting them out. In a way, it adheres to the getting things done principle, which is nice. Each project can contain tasks. These are the things you need to do. They have a title, but you can also add a description or even a checklist for various subtasks. Each task can have a due date and you can also set reminders to make sure that you don't forget about them. To better classify your tasks, you can also add tags to them, although as of yet, there is no way to see all tasks who possess a given tag, which could be super useful. Marking a task as complete is as simple as ticking its checkbox. You can view all completed tasks in a project using the three dot menu if you need to correct a mistake or take a look at what you've accomplished. Now, if you want to make sure your work and organization carries over multiple computers, there are two solutions. Either you create a Todoist account and go to the preferences of Planner to enable Todoist Sync, or you can just sync the Planner database with any file syncing solution you want to use, like pCloud for example. It's located in your home folder in the .local share comgithubalainm 23planner folder. Now, why did Alain prefer Todoist over another solution? That's because it's free and it has good synchronization API. Since Todoist worked the way you need the planner to work and it was available on all platforms, it made a good candidate to use it as a sync solution and to be able to access planner tasks on system where planner isn't available. Now, in terms of options, planner offers quite a few tweaks. First, there is a dark mode if you're a fan of that. You can also use a different button layout in the app to make it look like what you're currently using if you're not on elementary OS. And the fun doesn't stop here either, since Planner has a ton of keyboard shortcuts including a quick add window that allows you to create a new task anytime you want and store it in the right project immediately. This is super handy if you're in a meeting or need to add a task quickly without switching windows. Planner will also add your upcoming calendar events to the today and upcoming view to let you see what other stuff you have to prepare for so you can organize your work more efficiently working around meetings. Now what's next? I asked Alain what other features he had in store for Planner, and here's an interesting list of what he's working on. First is recurring tasks. This would be a nice feature since a lot of tasks that we need to complete are recurring ones. For the channel, I need to file some paperwork every month, and it would be nice to be able to use Planner to set these to occur at the end of each month. Second is support for CalDAV tasks. This would probably allow syncing with other task services like Nextcloud or Google Tasks, so people used to work with these could do so using Planner as well. The third item is support for task priority, another very helpful feature to sort out the stuff we need to work on by order of importance. The fourth is team projects, thanks to Todoist. Not something I would be personally interested in, but it would definitely be super helpful to allow multiple people to collaborate on a project, creating and completing tasks. And the final one is import and export projects, mainly useful for backup I guess, but for people who don't want to sync to an external service, this would be very helpful. 
Alain also works on other projects like Byte, a simple and beautiful music player. He also wants to work on a native Apple Music client for Linux, as well as a retro GTK-based emulation software. Ok, so we're done with our tour of Planner. It's an awesome project that I've come to love and rely on for all my various projects and tasks. I always try to use native apps as much as possible and Planner does everything I expect from such a client. What I'd like to see next is custom filtered views based on tags, due dates or keywords and the ability to view all tasks related to a tag. I highly recommend you try Planner if you need such an application and you can also support Alain through PayPal, Patreon or by buying Planner in the App Center at the price you want. I'll leave links to his various pages in the description. You can also follow him on Twitter where he posts updates very regularly. I hope you guys enjoyed this new project of the month. If you did, don't hesitate to like, subscribe or turn on notifications. If you want to vote on the next project on review, you can become a patron and get access to a monthly patron cast, the sources for all my videos and voting rights on some of my videos each month. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!